In this video, I'm going to be talking about working while applying for social security disability benefits right off the bat. Generally, it's a real bad idea to work while you have disability claim pending. You're going to need a convincing reason to tell the judge as to why you couldn't work more and you need to apply for disability. In certain circumstances, it, it can be helpful to work while applying for disability, but we'll discuss that in a second. The basic rule is so long as you're making less than, in 2023, I think it's $1,375. I could be off a little bit with a dollar amount. So long as you're under that, what's called substantial gainful activity, or SGA for short. So long as you're under SGA, the SSA says that you can still apply for disability benefits and not just get flat out denied. My experience though, is that if you're working close to the max, anywhere close to the max, even half of the max, I'm making around $700 a month, it's really hard to win those cases. Judges just wanna deny them. They're, they're very easy to deny. For judges, just like, hey, they're already working some. So if they could pick up another shift, they'd be over SGA, they'd be making over $1,400 a month. So case denied. And so if you're trying to keep it under SGA, it, you need to be making $300, $400, $500 a month is, is really what you should be looking for. And no work at all is, is way better than that. The other situation where work comes into play with disability is failed work attempts. So if you have a job that lasts for less than six months while you're applying for disability benefits, regardless of how many hours you're working or how much you're making a month, less than six months, failed work attempt does not affect your claim for disability benefits, or at least that's what the SSA says. Really, how it works is the shorter that your job lasts, the better off for you it is. Because you're proving to the SSA, hey, I, I went out and got a job, and it lasted for one month and I got fired for the reasons that I'm applying for disability benefits in the first place, it just makes sense. It can make cases seem uh, a whole lot stronger, especially for people under 50. That kind of proof can make a difference in disability cases getting granted, in my opinion. It's not a silver bullet, but it can make cases look stronger. But of course, the closer you are to the full six months, the more skeptical your disability judge is gonna be. If you have you know, two, two failed work attempts of five months each and they're both back to back, it's gonna be like, well, you know, it looks like this guy can, or gal can, can really work. Even if it's not true you were getting write-ups and hanging on by a thread the whole time. That's just kind of the narrative that takes hold. But you know, three or, or four work attempts, all of one month uh, to two months while your disability claims pending, where you're trying to work full-time hours, I look at that and I'm excited to present that to a judge because it kind of proves what we're there to talk about in the first place. My general advice is to not work, if at all possible while your disability claim's pending. Some people need to make ends meet while, while their claim's pending, and I understand that. That's very likely gonna cause your case to get denied. In certain circumstances, it can make a case stronger, but I wouldn't exactly encourage people to go out and try to work a bunch of a short one-month jobs and get fired to make their case stronger. The best bet is just to not work at all, and I think that's it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.